Nobody, in, in fact, no one's there. I mentioned that. It's pretty obvious. They couldn't even put like 2D sprites of just random people. Well, it doesn't matter. Right, now that I'm not in a cutscene anymore, I can finally tell the story. I will go in a rag ring. Uh, when you are playing a game and you suck and you fail, you're a small child and you just can't really do it. You tell you ask your friends and they're like, uh, I don't know. And uh, so you just end up, instead of trying and trying and trying, you end up restarting the game and just playing the bit you already know. You know, playing a new game and just doing that bit and then getting stuck at the same point and you're like, oh, no. And then one day, you replay it and suddenly you get past that bit. You know, some some reason is just not as hard as it used to be, or you're getting better at video games. And then, you know, you're good at it, and you get past it, and then the rest of the past of the game is like, whoa, this is new. Even though I've played this game so much, I've only played the first bit so much, and now all this other stuff is new. And then years later, you are able to play the entire game. I'm talking about this game. For me, that point was after this, after the, the cauldron bit after the dungeons. I usually get stuck at the dungeons. I used to, obviously. And I got stuck at the dungeons again and again and again. I would replay the game and get stuck at the dungeons again, and then suddenly I'm at this place once, and now this place feels like a different section of the game, even though it's basically nothing different from any other transition. Like fr from, you know, the first part of the game where you're getting r yellow beans to getting green beans, and uh, or uh, blue beans, I mean and then blue to green, you know, those transitions are normal. This one feels different just because I never, I've played it less overall. That, that's what I was trying to say. It was convoluted and too, took too long and I've not even been uh, transfigured. Avi Fours! Let's turn this bird into a smaller bird. One bird at a time. Gee, I'm an idiot. Hey, the bird's still there. Just flapping around. Okay, where do I want to go? Oh, I didn't uh. want to go down. Well, I'll use this door. This is the slidey bit. Whoa. Do you guys see that? Wait, look at his eye. Look at his look at his eye. He's giving it a real a real squash face. That's some definite eyebrow action. Doing 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 Anyway, you hear the laughing? You know what's coming. It's Shaver Party Potter. I've got your parcel, Potter. Want it back, do we? Let's have a chase through the attic then. If you beat me to the end, I might give it back. Or I might not. Let's just see, shall we? Off we go then. <sighs> this. Well, I'm, before I do that, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna go to this extra. Hello, Harry. Try and get ten every flavor beans from the kitten before time runs out. Watch out for those unstable blocks. Good luck. Yeah, what is this mini game? This is the cat from the dungeon. The same cat. And I've got to collect its beans, which are essentially its poop. Because what else could it be? Okay, did the cat just fall to his death? Because there wasn't blocks there? That is hilarious. Well, I got him. Well done, and now I've fallen. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the witches and wizards card. Is that cat falling to its death still? Roderick Blumpton. Stupid cat. 
Why is it shitting beans? It shouldn't. It's against the rules. Now this next bit, um, is Harry Force is very difficult, and uh, I I always have trouble with it. I think I will have trouble with it again. But it is very fun in retrospect, even if it's difficult, because doing it, it gives you a great sense of accomplishment. It's it's tough. You know, doing cool things that are hard to do. We it's always just for me. If you get to the end before me, you win. Off we go, potty potter. Yeah, it's not just the fact that you've got to do this, but you've got to do this quick. Oh my god, lag! Lag is going to be the worst thing ever. I do not want lag ever. But I'm going to get it, aren't I? God damn it. Yeah, you think you can't win, but by just not fucking up, you can. That's basically how it goes. I remember doing this so much. I guess I'm doing okay. Oh god, an axeman. Ah! Yeah, if you if you go diagonal, because it's basically left and up and down, left and right. If you go diagonal, you're gonna mess yourself up. Do not go diagonal. Not finished yet. God, this is so difficult. I mean, I'm saying this and I'm doing it, so... Maybe it's not as difficult as I remember, but... Gosh dang. Well, I'm not dead. I'm doing good, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Look at that. Look at that skill. Getting points. Now, he's designed to look like he's winning the whole time, but I haven't fucked up yet, so I'm doing good. I can even afford to get that extra bean. Oh. Oh no. Oh god. That is also another difficult thing about this, the fixed camera angle. And if you go for all the beans, you're not going to make it. I mean, you could, like, get some of the beans and then... But look, this is the bit where he falls behind. And if you're kind of in front, you win. Yeah. What a cheat! Not fair. Peeve wasn't ready. Yeah, Peeve doesn't want your silly parcel. Take it back. Your father left this invisibility cloak in my possession before he died. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. To activate this cloak, pick up the invisibility tokens. They will only work for a short time, so be careful. You know what I love about, like, video games? Is the fact that they just make normal things different. Like, for example, the invisibility cloak. If it was any other game, you would just be able to... Well, if it was a realistic, more realistic game, you would just be able to wear the cloak and be invisible. I guess I can't go back. Um, you would just be able to wear the cloak and go invisible and it would be like an inventory item and you could use it. But it wouldn't be very fun. And with this, the invisibility tokens, it sounds like a silly, like, uh, why would you need invisibility tokens? It's an invisibility cloak, you just put it on. That's how it was in the book, that's how it was in the movie. But it's not the book or the movie, it's a video game. So you're supposed to... You're supposed to do the other thing. The interactive, the, the gamification. You know what I'm saying? You gotta embrace the fact that it's a video game by doing silly things like... You know, having to collect the sloth brain in the forest to go to, to class. Having to jump on tables to get to class. You know, all that sort of stuff. It just makes it more fun as a game. A lot of games nowadays, they're like, how can we create gameplay that is basically the same as if it were, you were really there? As if you were really there? I don't know. Maybe I'm talking out of butts. <laughs>